Hello everybody, my name is uh, Joe Guy, and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. In the last few episodes we had our entire family decimated by the forces of Arl Howe, lovely man that he is, and now we have been recruited by the Grey Wardens and we're here in Ostagar for the upcoming battle. So let's head into what is presumably the main camp and we'll see what shenanigans we can get up to. Hey, you must be the Grey Warden recruit that Duncan brought. And you must be the soldier I meant to talk to about orientation. This place hasn't seen such bustle in centuries, I'll wager. Mm. Need a hand getting anywhere? Um... Oh yeah, well, where's Duncan's tent? Not far. It's straight ahead, just past the Royal Encampment. Mm -hmm. Most of your fellows are in the valley with the army, but the recruits seem to be staying up here for now. Okay. I'm also looking for this guy, apparently. Try heading north. I think he was sent with a message to the mages. Oh. And can you just tell me about this place in general? Used to be a fortress long time ago, so I understand. Back in the days when the Wilders used to invade the lowlands. You were just on the eastern side of the ruin. The Tower of Ishal is there, but Tern Loghain's closed it off until the battle. Alright. This side is the King's Camp. We've got the Grey Wardens here, the Circle of Magi, the Chantry. You can't swing a dead cat without hitting somebody important. <laughs> Why would you want to swing a dead cat? Um, supplies, king, circle of magi. A few mages, yes. They even brought those creepy quiet fellows, the Tranquil. Mm. Gives me the shivers when they talk, all cold and even. They're to the north of here, bunched up with a herd of Templars glaring at them. <laughs> can't miss it. I remember I've, I've, I remember a little bit about uh, the, mag the mages and how the Templar... The Chantry views their powers as extremely dangerous because they can get possessed by demons and such like that when they go into the Fade, which is the Dream Realm. Um, anything else? I don't really might care where the king is. Do I hear dogs barking? Glenald? Glenald, you pipe down. Quartermaster, he's just a bit to the northwest. Okay, I think that's enough. Good luck to you then. Thank you. Mozzing on. A new codex entry about Ostagar, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Just fall left wall. This place is nice. Nice spot for a camp. Hello. Greetings. King Kalen is not in his tent right now. No? You sound a bit like him, actually. Uh, where is he? I believe he's with the Grey Wardens in camp, drinking. He holds them in high regard, you know, as his father did. Mm-hmm. I came across when I met him last time. Can you tell me about him, please? I suppose I do. Though he's spending most of his time with the Grey Wardens. He rides with them wherever they go, in fact. Mm. Terran Loghain sees the King whenever he can and argues with him over coming battles. But the <laughs> King just waves him off. The King wants to end the blight with a single huge battle the Bards will sing of for centuries. Do you think that's possible? Um... Well... It's gonna happen anyway, so I guess we'll just see. That's how the Terran feels. He'll do what the King wants in the end, though. Yeah. The King thought it was funny the Terran called him reckless. And they fought about the Queen. The Queen? She's the Terran's daughter. He wasn't happy about something she did or the King did, I'm not sure. I probably shouldn't discuss it. Ah, uh, you're probably right. Okay, I should go. As you wish. Let's go up here. Look carefully, man. This wretched thing is a darkspawn. Oh. They're strong and cunning and smart, but don't listen to those old wives' tales. They can be killed. Stick them with your sword enough, and they go down. Their blood is black as sin and poisonous. Don't even touch it. You get tainted with that blood, and you may as well slit your... Now I'll never know. Throat. We've lost many dogs already. Had to muzzle them to keep them from biting. It's a... This is supposed to be the battle that sends these darkspawn back underground. You believe that? I don't know what to believe. We've won every battle, but there's more of them each time. Makes you wonder if them Grey Wardens are right. I don't want to think about that. Yeah. Mm, sounds like the perfect we are right. We have parts, to be right. Different kinds. We're getting reports of things we've never even heard of. Mm? Our short friend here, for instance, is something called a Genrog. They're pretty common in the Horde, but we've seen others much larger. We don't know where these new darkspawn are coming from or what they can do. All I can say is to use caution. And they breed that. That makes things interesting, at least. You approach the tent of Terran Loghain. State your business. You're a lot more official than the other guy. Um, tell me about him. How can you not know of Loghain? <laughs> he helped free Ferelden. He was the brains behind King Marek's armies and drove out those damned Orlesians. King Marek rewarded him by making him a Terran. Can you imagine? 
A commoner became a high nobleman just like that. Hmm. Without Loghain, you can bet the king wouldn't be winning against these Darkspawn. A strategist, you say? Is he inside? He's inside, but I don't think it's my place to discuss his activity. Um... Can you tell me a little bit about him? I suppose, as long as we talk quietly. <laughs> he and the king have been arguing for days. The Tern's known the king since he was swaddled, so they don't stand on ceremony. The Tern speaks his mind, and the king yells right back. Personally, I think the king should do what Tern Logang tells him. Without the Tern, we wouldn't be doing as well here as we are. Yeah, you always gotta listen to, to strategic wisdom. Could I speak with him by any chance? I, don't, I doubt you're gonna let me speak with him, but... Hmm. I suppose you have a message for him. <laughs> okay, let's go with that. Hold on, then. Yes, what is it? Oh, you're Duncan's new Grey Warden, I assume. Uh, yes, apparently I have a message for you. And that message is, uh, yes I am. <laughs> Kalen's fascination with the Wardens goes beyond the ordinary. Are you aware his father brought your order back to Ferelden? No, I, I didn't know that. Marek respected the Grey Wardens. They have an honored place in the hearts of our people. But Marek would have understood that it takes more than legends to win a battle. Hmm. That's not an argument I'll repeat here. Hmm. You look familiar. Have I seen you at the lands meet? Uh, being a noble, I guess. Yeah, my father was turned of high ever. The king told me of his promise. I'm certain he has every intention of following it through. Mm -hmm. I suppose you'll be riding into the thick of battle with the rest of your fellows, will you? I have absolutely no idea. If Kalen has his way, you will. Now I must return to my task. Pray that our king proves amenable to wisdom, if you're the praying sword. I still haven't worked out on the praying sword. I don't think I am, really. Um, you don't seem very fond of him. I don't know, you guys have just... I, I think it's more like you know, you've known each other for so long. You're just open about any problems that you two have. Then simply pray. Mm, okay. That's nice. Moving on. Glenelt! Howdy. Happy bark. So the subtitles say, but uh, I'm yet to hear oral evidence. Good folk of Ferelden, and we contemplate the death that may await. Death mm. is no failure, my friends. Should it find you, you will not. Are you win? Greetings, young man. You are Duncan's newest recruit, are you not? He's not a man easily impressed. You should be proud. Allow mm. me to introduce myself. I am Win. One of the mages summoned by the king. Win, win for the win. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, Win. Do so, Win. Do you think we're gonna win tomorrow? I have a lot more problems coming kind of this way throughout this conversation. Well met, and good luck to you on the battlefield. Thank you. To us all, in fact. Hmm. Will you be fighting as well? Not precisely. The Grey Wardens will be on the front lines, not the mages. Still, we have our parts to play. To defeat the Darkspawn, we have to work together. It's not an idea everyone seems able to grasp. Yeah, no, that's true. So, do you know much about them? Some. Do you? Do you know about the connection between them and the Fade, for example? Um... I know the Fade is where you go when you dream. Anytime your spirit leaves your earthly body, whether it's to dream or to die, it passes into the realm we call the Fade. It's home to many spirits. Some benevolent, others far less so. Mm -hmm. At the heart of the Fade lies the Black City. What's that? Some say the Black City was once the seat of the Maker. But when the mages from the Tevinter Imperium found a way into the city, it was tainted with their sin. That taint transformed those men, turning them into twisted reflections of their own hearts. Hmm. And the Maker cast them back to the Earth, where they became the first Darkspawn. Yeah. At least that's what the Chant of Light says. Yeah, I remember that, actually. That makes a bit more sense of the opening cinematic, plus that quote I read at the beginning. And is that true? I reckon it's speculation. <laughs> the Chantry does say many things. It may be allegory, meant to teach us that our own evil causes human suffering. Mm -hmm. Or it may be true. It is as good an explanation as any for now. I hope one day we find out. Yes, at least it's something to ponder. Yes. Occasionally, it's wise to contemplate one's actions. Mm. But I'm certain Duncan has more for you to do than talk to me. It's good for the brain as well to contemplate one's actions. What's around here? That's where I came in, isn't it? Hello. I'm sorry. 
but the mages must not be interrupted. Why not? I'm sorry, but the mages must not be interrupted. You sure? The mages must not oh. be interrupted. Their spirits are in the fade. It looks awesome. <laughs> okay, as you wish. Let's move on, shall we? What is here? So, any last wishes I can help fulfill before you head into battle? <laughs> Life is fleeting, you know. That pretty face could be decorating some dark spawn spear this time tomorrow. Shall I take that quiet glare as a no? Ah, oh, well, too bad. <laughs> Friend, positivity is the way to go always. <laughs> go. Well, you're not what I thought you'd be. What did you think I'd be? Me? I was hoping for a comely lass with golden hair and terrible eyesight. <laughs> Can't really help you there. <laughs> the name's Daveth. <laughs> it's about bloody time you came along. I was beginning to think they'd cook this ritual up just for our benefit. Ah, so you are a crit as well. Hmm, what do you know about this? I happened to be sneaking around camp last night, see, and I heard a couple of Grey Wardens talking. So, I listen in for a bit. I'm thinking they plan to send us into the wilds. Hmm. You sound like a rogue as well. Maybe I'll get you in my party. Um, wilds? We're right on the northern edge of the Kakari Wilds here. Miles and miles of savage country. My home village isn't far, and I grew up on tales about the wilds. Mm -hmm. Even been in there a few times. <laughs> Scary place. Um, yeah, why would they do that, do you think? Sounds like some kind of test. Yeah. Maybe they'll hunt us a souvenir or two. Hmm. It's all too secretive for me. Makes my nose twitch. Yeah. I guess we'll have to wait and see, <laughs> like we have a choice. Exactly. Oh, that's a good question. Are they forcing you to be here? I've got nowhere else to go after what Duncan saved me from. Anyway, I expect it's time to get back to Duncan. That's where I'll be if you need me for anything. Okay. Later. Seems Duncan likes to rescue people. Pick them where they have nowhere else to go. Oh, hello. Skill boots, grey iron. Heavy, heavy boots, I think. Right? Wait, is any of this better? Stud leather. No, but maybe it looks better. Let's equip it and see what happens. Oh, nope. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Like that. And you. Definitely prefer that look. Have you seen an elf running about? Young woman, red hair. Carrying a suit of chain. I'll keep an eye out, but I uh, can't say I have. Blast it. Where did she go? That suit better be patched up when she gets back or buy the maker up. Easy. Oh, pardon my manners. My troubles are no concern of yours, I'm sure. Oh, I'm the quartermaster. Did you come for supplies? Um, I, yeah, oh, yeah, I remember hearing about you. Uh, do you need help tracking this girl down? Oh, I'm sure you have better things to do than run errands for me. I can find her myself. Side quest, the name of the game, friend. Uh, let's see what you have. Let me know what you'd like. Anchor. So is this... Is this my stuff? Yeah, this is my stuff. Okay, let's have a bit of a look here. I suppose I'm going to commentate through this. I mean, I think in general I would prefer to cut this sort of thing out. Hmm. Let's just get rid of some stuff. Make us a bit of money. Don't need scale armor. Don't need scale boots. I mean, any of this... Get rid of all that. Yep. Shield of High Ever, I feel like I should be keeping around. How about this? Four. Four. But that's got plus attack. Yeah. Let's get rid of you. And what have I got here? An axe? Hmm. Well, let's say higher. I can probably get rid of a couple daggers. Let's just sell the whole lot. And the maces as well. Heavy Mole? Sounds like the sort of thing that might come in handy. Short bowl. I will keep that on me for now. Do you have any? Do you have a long bowl or anything? No, staff. A long sort of grey iron. I've already got a short bowl equipped, apparently. Yeah. What else? Oh, ball still a silly axe. Nothing there. We've got a health poultice and six of them. Let's buy a couple. Four. Let's buy four. I've got a bunch of money now, actually. My Mabari Crunch. I don't know if Glenald will be coming with us. St small amount of Mabari Hound's health and stamina over time. Do I have any of those? Let's just buy them both. Why not? Lurium? 
I'm good for Lyrium because I don't have no mages at, no mages in my party. Or oh, backpack. Um, each backpack purchase automatically increases inventory capacity by 10. That sounds like something useful. So, I need like another 9, I think, to, to build it up. Let's keep this because I don't really know what it does at the moment. Hmm. See, I could sell this. But no, no, it's 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 hereditary, it's familial, I, sh I shouldn't be selling that. Well, I will sell, however, it's a heavy maul. I don't want to hang on to that, but I think this is going to be a bit more useful. There we go, now i got a bit more inventory space to play with. Great. It's been a very successful transaction, friend. Thank you. Um, how do I check my map? I need to go up there to see Alistair, because I said to head north up these stairs and then to the right. But let's swing around the long way. And see what's this direction we'll head up round. Oh. This way. Hey guys. You. You need to convince them. We've got to run. The dark spawn are coming. What happened to you, friend? Why do you say that? I saw them. We're gonna die. I apologize, Warden. He's been like this ever since they found him in the wilds. Hmm. What's wrong? Aside from his wounds, we're not sure. His blood is untainted. He's just... terrified. PTS. You... you can feel it, can't you? They taint the land, turn it black and sick. Oh, you can feel it inside. Hmm. They'll come out of that forest and spread. Like caterpillars covering a tree. They'll swallow us whole. Uh, that's quite enough out of you. You need to calm yourself, my good man. Yes. They were everywhere. I saw them. Hmm. You need to pull yourself together. I mean, if the threat is as bad as you say, what good is running going to do this? Might as well ba die in battle, am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Maybe this isn't the time for a motivational speech. Just take your meds, you'll be fine. Oh, someone! Looks like a comfy pillow, at least. Oh, it's all this. In the name of Andraste, I bless you today. May you find. There's a named guy here. Eyes. So Jory. Greetings. Hi. You must be the third recruit we've heard about. I am. Who are you? Sir Jory is my name. I hail from Redcliffe, where I served as knight under the command of Arlaemon. Hmm. You have the bearing of a man who knows how to fight. If I may ask, were you a soldier before you came here? I don't know. Yeah, I guess my father trained me to fight. Are you a nobleman? I am honored to be in your company, my lord. Oh, thank you. I hope we're both lucky enough to eventually join the Wardens. Is it not thrilling to be given that chance? Uh, it was kind of forced upon me, actually. Hmm. <laughs> I wouldn't be here if I tried. I might have still been here. You're not all that smart, are you? That's just not a nice thing to say. I'm curious about this joining ritual, though. As am I. Has anyone told you about it? Hmm. Yeah, David says we might be going into the wilds. I never heard of such a ritual. I had no idea there were more tests after getting recruited. Hmm. I suppose since you're finally here, I'd best get back to Duncan. I shall see you there. Okay. Ciao for now. Let's head up and round. Wait a minute, what's all... Oh! Oh! Chest! Chest! I see a chest. A mace. Just sold all those. What's up here? Sorry, the main army camp is off limits for you right now. Huh? Is he? Is it? I mean... Oh, I was hoping to go speak with the king. Oh well. It's up here. Oh, no, this isn't the way. Wait a minute. What? Huh. Someone finally comes and talks to the lone prisoner. What are you doing in there? I don't suppose you've come to sentence me. <laughs> no, I haven't. I don't suppose you have a bit of kindness in you. All I want is food and water. They haven't fed me since I was locked up and I'm starving. These guys don't seem cruel. What did you do? I'm a deserter. Or so they think. I bet there's no arguing them out of it, though. Armies are funny that way. Did you? I wasn't deserting. But when you catch someone sneaking around camp in the middle of the night, what else are you going to think? Does it matter? All I want is a bit of food and water. <laughs> it matters to me if your cause is just, exactly. <laughs> You're a funny one. They won't listen to you no matter what you think. Not that I wouldn't mind you trying. You're a good sword. And it's not as if they're wrong. I probably would have deserted later. Just not when they caught me is all. 
Hope that doesn't spoil your opinion of me. Ugh. I'm still hungry enough to eat my shoe. <laughs> Do you even have a shoe? Why haven't they fed you though? I expect nobody thought of it with all the battles and such. Mm hmm All right, I'll see what I can do. Just ask my guard for his. He's still got some dinner. I saw him put it in his coat. All right, come on, man. Your job is also the caretaking of prisoners, not just to make sure they don't escape. The cage is there to do that. Lucky dog. You great wardens get to ride with the king while I'm left with the drudgery of guarding this deserter. Huh. They should have just hanged him. Put his head on a pike as an example. Well, you seem like a nice man. Yeah, who is he? They say he was recruited before the war up in Dinnerham. Probably figured he'd never have to fight if he served the king, right? Yeah, I suppose so, but why? Why does anyone want to desert? Because he thinks he's going to die and he's a bloody coward, that's why. Either that or he's been listening to a bunch of hogwash about how the darkspawn will drag you off and eat you. I've heard similar, to be perfectly honest. I had a chat with him, actually. Don't expect it was an enlightening conversation. He's asking for food and water. Did he now? Come on. Since nobody sends me nothing to feed him with, the only way we'll get that is if I give him mine. You look like you could lose a few anyway. <laughs> so you miss one meal? Yeah, exactly. This guy could be dead soon. He probably will be, in fact. All right, all right. I guess the poor fella could stand to have one meal in his belly before he hangs. Don't know why you care. <laughs> I had nothing to do with it, though. If anyone asks why he's burping, I'm going to say it was you. Just so you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm not afraid of anybody harassing me for feeding a prisoner. So? Brought me some food, have you? Yeah. I'm so hungry I could faint dead away. Yeah, here you go. Much obliged. You're a kind soul, you are. May Andraste herself rain blessings upon you. You're welcome. Just, uh... I'm not going to say hang in there. What do you say to do, man? Hey, we could lose the battle, and then maybe in the ensuing chaos, you'd have a chance to escape. So just pray for that. Pray for that. <laughs> I don't think there's anything else, is there? No, no. Infirmary. I'm going to read the same from here. Let's go up and see Alistair, who I do remember from my last playthrough. I don't remember him well. I remember I liked him. <laughs> 